everyone, and welcome back to church with a heart full of joy and happiness. I welcome every one of you back to church. How are you doing? And I'm sure all of you, you both, uh, all of you have a fantastic week. And once again, I'm happy and I welcome you guys. I welcome every one of you back to church. So it has been a great week for me. It's been a fantastic week for me. And again, especially is the last uh, last week during the you know last Sunday of the month, so we are going to uh, what they call it to the last second to the last month of the year. So, which means that very soon it's going to be Christmas, 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 Christmas. Yeah, it's going to be Christmas, and do you know what? Mm -hmm. Okay, eight. Uh, let me see. Is it fifty-five days or fifty-four days to Christmas? Yeah, it's fifty-five days to Christmas, and I'm happy. I can't wait for all the Christmas songs, for all the Christmas traveling. You know, everything. Yeah, I can't wait for that. So welcome back to church. So, what are we going to be talking about this week? What is going to be our lesson this week? So let me give you a clue. Uh, have you ever been in a situation whereby you try, you're giving it everything that you have? Okay, let me say you're trying to solve an equation, maybe mathematics. So you're trying to solve this equation and you have applied the formula that your teacher gave you at school and still you're not getting the answer. And Let's say you try like 10 to 15 times and you're still not getting the answer. And I'm sure you get to a stage, you'll be like, no, I'm not doing it again. No, I'm just going to give up. Like, I'm not going to press forward again. Let me tell you something. We have all been in that situation. And many times we have all give up, you know, just, you know, let go. Just, you know, agree to, okay, that is I. That is how it's going to be, so I'm just going to leave it that way. But I come with a different message today. Don't give up. Be courageous. Don't give up. Be courageous. So, we are going to be talking about courage today. What courage means? And as courage, how having courage, not only in yourself, but most especially, you are need to have courage in yourself. And again, you need to have courage in God. So, what does it mean? And how does having a courage in some certain situation, in some certain times, how does it help you to skate through some situation? And how does it help you, especially to win in some situation? Sit back, relax, because you're going to get the full details exclusive. Full details exclusive. With nothing, you know, subtracted from it. You're going to get the full details from this lesson. So you just sit back. But before we go into the lesson, there is something that is missing. I'm sure you. We need to commit this lesson unto God. We need to commit it to our heart. We need to commit to everyone unto God. And so let's bow down and say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We bless you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for protection. We thank you for loving us more than we love ourselves. We thank you for loving us more than our parents love us. We thank you for your sacrifice. Lord, we glorify your holy name. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you for the gift of forgiveness. Father Lord, thank you for making us who we are today. Thank you for us being here today, being alive, because it's not by we being perfect that we are here today. But it's by it's because you love us so much and you preserve us. Father Lord, we ask for you, we ask you to forgive us our sin in any way that we sin against you. Father Lord, we ask you to for, to forgive us and to wash us clean. We ask you to renew our mind and our heart and our spirit. Father Lord, today we ask you that you should give us the spirit of courage so that we will not give up in and along the line. Or before we even get to the finish line. Father Lord, 
We thank you because today, today's lesson is going to be a good, it's going to be a great lesson for us. And because we are going to be, every one of us are going to be attentive. Father Lord, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So you know what to do now. Sit back, relax, get your pen and jota. Yeah, get your pen and jota. And let's keep down into the lesson. See you. I wonder whose bright idea it was to put a Connect field office at the top of Mount Everest. We never get any casual walk-ins. I stand corrected. Try again. I say, can I live here with you? Well, uh, this isn't exactly a place to live. Connect HQ is here to help. What's the problem? Well, I prepared everything I needed to climb up Mount Everest. Well, congratulations on making it to the top. Well, I didn't plan on how getting to the bottom, so I'm just gonna stay here now. Uh, I don't think that's allowed. But let me contact Connect HQ and see if they would be all right with that. Hmm. It's strange. They don't seem to be answering. I wonder what they're doing over there. I've never seen so many requests for help. <laughs> Panic! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time we solved a mountain of a problem. <laughs> we cannot handle so many problems. Don't panic, hold steady, have courage. We'll get through this. Okay. Time to panic. <laughs> the foodie group just quit. Did they take all the food? They left a note. And the food. Yes, and the food. But they also left a note that said this is a recipe for disaster. Oh, are we gonna make that? What? Disaster. Not on my watch. Any experience in hiring. There's got to be a website or something that can do this for me. Yeah, well, uh, most of the hiring was done by Captain Ray. Until you suspended her per your order. Be a dear and do it for me. Well, actually, we're a little backed up on requests right now, so uh, I was thinking that we could power up the link console. No and links! Then... It's faster without them. But... No waste my time with butts, Mike! Now, there's got to be a website or something that can do this for me. Scooch! But I'm sorting through these incoming messages. Properly prepared food cannot wait! Good! It's just a... <laughs> is it just me or is this whole place falling apart without Ray being in charge? Yeah, I miss the captain. You know, I heard that the beat doctors were also thinking about Lavia. Where did you hear that? She's blocked off communication with all groups because she thinks talking is wasting time. I heard it through the grapevine. Grapevine? What's so great about a grapevine? Never mind. What about us? Are we going to stay till the bitter end? Of course we are. She has a point. Do you want to leave Connect HQ? I'm just saying maybe we should consider what else is out there. What about all the kids waiting for our help, huh? Guys, God gives me the courage to never give up. Less chatting, more working. Mm, you're absolutely right, Captain Whip. 
keep getting a busy signal at HQ. But I'll keep trying. Ah, uh, no worries. I'm getting comfortable. Right, now, now listen. You did a big, brave thing climbing this mountain. But you can't give up now. Why not? Seems like a good place to stop. But you're only halfway. You have to do the downward part. But each day is the same thing. Walk and sleep and walk and sleep. I'm just gonna cut out the walking part. I'm out. Well, I'm not gonna give up contacting HQ. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. I was just praying my courageous prayer. Every single day until Ray comes back. The foodies group quit. What? That's crazy! Yeah, and Mike said that the beat doctors are also thinking about quitting. I'm not sure how much longer HQ is going to last. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to last. Oh no, if you give up now, it's all my fault. How is it your fault? If Ray was here, this wouldn't be happening and you wouldn't want to quit. But that's not your fault. Ray's in here because I'm not praying hard enough. Dot, that's not how it works. I pray day after day, but nothing is changing. <sighs> and I'm getting tired. But you can't give up. May I? Sure. What are you doing? Doing a search in the Bible app for the word tired. I'm going to find a verse to give you a boost. Hmm. But what about you? I'm just thinking about not praying a specific prayer anymore. You're talking about quitting everything. You're right. We both need a boost. Here, in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 9. Let's say it like this. Galatians 6, 9. Galatians 6, 9. Oh. So let's not get tired. Oh. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. Of doing what is good. At just the right time. At just the right time. We will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. We will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So keep praying, Dot. Don't give up. And you keep harboring, Harper. <laughs> don't give up. I won't. Dear Miss Whipple, I'm gonna go. What? Are you okay? <gasps> this message says that the beat doctors are breaking up the band and leaving HQ. How can I convince them to stay? Well, you could encourage them with an example of diligence. Diligence? Yeah, it means being consistent with hard work, even when times are tough. It takes courage. The kind that Noah had when he built the ark. So if I say the word Noah, I can convince them to stay. Or you could show them this. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let it blow up all the cages, let this show go off Let his word explode from this video into your life The earth filled up with people, but they sinned so much that God was sorry he had made them. He decided to send a flood to wash away everyone on earth. There was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. God warned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with a low roof, three decks, a window, and a door. In obedience, Noah built it. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal, one male, one female. Then Noah, his family, and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. 
It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountains disappeared beneath the flood. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and all the animals were safe in the boat, floating on the floodwaters. God had not forgotten about Noah, not even for a moment. God sent a wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat rested on Mount Ararat. Noah sent out a dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. When the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole earth again. Noah obeyed what God asked of him, and he built that giant ark every day with courage, no matter what. He never gave up. But it took forever for Noah to see any results. How long was he on that boat trusting God? 40 days? <laughs> That's far too long. There's got to be a quicker way. Obeying God isn't a one-time thing. It's something that we do over and over, every day. It's what we do here at HQ. We never give up helping kids with their problems. Never give up, huh? No, ma'am! Well, in that case... I'm out. Um, 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 uh, you're leaving. I'll put it this way. You got a real nice boat here, Noah. But there's far too much work here. I'm swimming for shore. Uh, you're quitting just like that. Moving on to bigger and better. Be a deer and be the captain for me. But... The whip is gone. <laughs> she gave up? Just like that? You know, God gives me courage to never give up. It's time to get back to work. Everyone report to the hub. I've got some good news. So, any luck getting in touch with Captain Ray? Yes, she said she is on her way back to the HQ. She said continue answering people's problems and she will get here as soon as she can. Ah, <sighs> so we're back to the same old same. Day after day, finding links, making connections. And you never know what might happen. You never know. Hey, thanks for reminding me not to give up today. Thanks for your prayers. Looks like they worked. What do you mean? The link station is back online, and there's no sign of the whip. <gasps> HQ is back to normal. <laughs> Whoa, heads up, team. We've got an incoming transmission from our field office on top of Mount Everest. Yeah, hot up. So you gotta tell me. We've got a field office on the top of a mountain. Hmm. Let's find us some links. Wake, wake up, wake up. What is it? Hey, it took some diligence, but I finally got through. I left a message and I got something you should see. It's from the Connect HQ main office. Will it tell me how to get down? Just watch. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm with Connect HQ. We heard about your problem and we wanted to share this with you. It says in the Bible, in the book of Galatians. Galatians 6, 9. <sighs> so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap the harvest of blessing if we don't give up. If we gave up every time we got tired, we would miss out on the blessing that God has for us at the end of our journey. Noah obeyed God even when it seemed crazy. He had the courage to trust God for many years. Day after day, God protected and provided for him and his family during the flood. Sometimes it's easy to do the right thing at the beginning or when you can see God's blessing you, but it takes courage to do the right thing over and over, even when we can't see the end. We can either choose to quit or stick with it. Don't give up. Never grow tired of doing good. 
ask God to remind you of the courage he gave you to get up the mountain and trust that he will give you the same courage to get back down. And with each step, say, God gives me courage to never give up. Stay safe out there. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Hmm, he's right. I should keep moving. I'll pack up and head out in the morning. Thanks for not giving up on me. Can I ask you a favor? Anything. Send me a postcard when you reach the bottom. It's pretty lonely up here. You got it, buddy. God never gives up on us. In fact, he loved us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins. And if you've never made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, you can make that choice right now. Just remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect small group leader before you leave. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and click to watch more videos. <laughs> YouTube is fun. Yeah. Have you picked something yet? You gotta click a button. I'm still waiting. Yeah, we'll be here. But you gotta make a decision. Now. Now. First, I'm going to recite our memory first, which is Galatians 6, 9. It said that, let not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Hmm. That was deep. Deep. Don't you think? Don't you think? That was good. So which means that if you don't give up, if you don't give up on study and that, if you don't give up, because that is going to happen just like the video that we watch, not just like the lesson that we watch. It, there is going to be a time that things are not going to go the way you want it to go. That things are not going to happen the way you want it to happen. That things are not going to be the way you want it to be. Okay, let's take what is happening now for instance. You guys can come to church right now. You are not at church. You are still doing this on the further notice. That is not what you want. I've talked to most parents and most of them said, uh, most of you cry when they are coming to church, you know, since when the um, header, like, I mean, the parent isn't back to church. So you've been crying because you want to follow them to church, but you can't. So that is a perfect example that sometimes things are not going to go the way we want it to go. And is things are not going to happen the way we want things to happen. There are going to be times that we are going to be tired. There are going to be times that we are going to be weak. There are times that we are not going to be inspired. There are times that everything that we are trying to make work is not going to work out. And what is the message of today? Don't give up. Of doing what is good. Don't give up of doing what is right. Don't give up of doing what is just. Don't give up of doing what is love. Don't give up of doing what Christ has asked us to do. Don't give up because at just the right time, that thing is going to come true. At just the right time, the management is going to, I mean, the church management is going to announce that you cannot come to church. At just the right time, you're going to make a big truth. So don't 
give up keep pressing forward keep pressing forward you know just like Noah imagine Noah have given up because you know I'm sure most of you know the story of Noah after he built the ark he talked to people okay that this and this is going to happen there is going to be rain there is going to be rain do you know what happened they love him even before we even talked about that let's talk about no when it starts building you know it doesn't make any sense you're just building a heart big very big so i'm sure if you get to a stage you'll be tired just in as the bible recorded that he's just the only one he's the only one maybe with his help of his family that he helped him if you get to a stage you'll be tired You'll be weak. You won't want to continue again. You will even doubt the voice of God. Are you? Am I sure this is the voice of God? Am I sure God is going to destroy the? You know. So, message today is: whether you are in that situation already, I've been there a few times. I've been there a few times. I've been there a few times. But here I am because sometimes I've given up. But do you know one thing? Those times that I gave up, God sent. He sent a word of hope, of love, of healing to me, and I'm here today. So don't give up. Don't give up. So this is going to be the end of our class for today, and you know, let's put our hands together. For every one of us, yeah, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. I'm so happy today, and I'm sure you too you are. So, uh, let's close today's class with a prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your message. We glorify you. We thank you for the word that you have sent to us. We thank you because you are going to be there for us, even when we are weak. Because you are going to uphold us. Because you are going to strengthen us. Even when we are at that point of giving up, we thank you because... You're going to make us to be courageous, to be able to move forward, to be able to pull through. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, as we're going into the new week, Lord, go with us. Bless us. Open doors for us. Lord, over, overflow us with your love. And let people that come across us, let them to partake in that love. When they see us, let them see you. Father, Lord, we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Habib, where do you think you're going? Stay out of my way. I'm going to play football with my friends and there's nothing you can... Silence! You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Ha! Huh, what will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Ha! Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no! Not the movies! No! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. <laughs> okay, it's real. It's real. What should we do? Hmm, the coronavirus is out there. We should stay at home for now. Always wash our hands with soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! <laughs> stay home, stay safe from all of us at Ant Hill Studios.